service on your part can be done sitting at your home browsing the internet and finding out the things so you know that it is it has it is fast that it reduces the cost of your also or uh, on your end also and on the end of the business also because now business do not need to open big showrooms they can transact they can interact through the online websites and then they can deliver the goods so that can also be done then on your part how cost is reduced you are not wasting your energy and time and uh, money on going out in the market and serving you don't have to move anywhere you just have to place the order from your place and you can get the things required then second thing is you get 24 by 7 business services that is even in at the midnight if you feel like buying something even at the midnight you feel like okay i want to shop now i want to go shopping now at that time no malls will be open for you but through e banking through e business you can actually do the shopping at that point of time also you can see the things which are available for you you can select the things choose them buy them place the order you can do all that so the, you have 24 by 7 services and apart from that after sale services are also very good you can get immediate you can have your queries rep, rep, uh, reported immediately see when you are going for a physical traditional business when you have to go to the market you purchase the things and then you come back and at times after coming to your home you find some discrepancies in those products at times we go back immediately for the uh, for telling the customers for telling to the shopkeeper that okay this these are the problems in our product and we want to change it or you or you want that to be repaired whatever the case may be but at times what happens we get lazy and we do not go to the market again and we just let it be like that so the money is been wasted but when it will be the case of e business you do not need to do anything you just have to put your complaint on the net to that particular website and then your problems will be sorted out so you have the facility of after sale services also readily available so these are also the kind of benefits of e to e business or b to c e businesses providing to us the next is intra b intra b communication or intra b commerce you can say now what intra b communication is doing is the connection is between the business only there is there is no outside party intra b means within the business why within the business such connection is required say for example there are various departments in the organization you have a managing department that is the board of directors you have financing department then you have marketing department you have production department human resource management department all these departments are doing their works assigned to each particular department but can they work in isolation without communicating with each other without interacting with each with each other no that is not possible at times what happens the managing department that is the board of directors are at the central office and the offices of the company are situated not only in the various part of the same country but also in other countries also now since that managing department has to manage from its head office it needs to interact with all other offices because management cannot be done without interacting with others so all they have all these departments will have to be connected in a manner that they can do their work independently without being uh, physically present at the office if their work require some field work say for example the marketing department they need to go out and then they need to do their work to in, in the market and but the financing department has to stay in the office that is the uh, where the clerical work is being done 
the production department has to be at the factory site where all the production part is being done. So they all have to be at their own places yet they have to be connected. So for that you require this internet, intranet facilities where a business department is connected to each other through a networking facility. Now what happens is, say for example a managing department wants that the CEOs of all the regional offices should sit together and they should decide on certain specific point or certain specific topic. Say for example there is a any thing, any reason on which they have to discuss, they have to take decisions. That particular area requires the expertise, knowledge of each particular CEO or the, uh, their own views as per the areas they are in. What all will be, what policies will be acceptable in their particular region. So all that has to be discussed by the board of directors. Now, it is not feasible and it is not possible for each CEO to come at the head office for the meeting. So what they do is, say for example, if the head office is at Gurgaon and the various regional offices, various other offices are at the capital cities of each state. Say for Rajasthan, it is in Jaipur, in Madhya Pradesh, it is in Bhopal and so on. Now what happens is that there is a facility of getting connected with through internet. The organization can have its own intranet facility where they have their own websites on which each employee has its own account and they can get connected easily through their offices. So a video conference can be done. So that each CEO is connected with Gurgaon and now they can discuss on whatever the matter they want to discuss, whatever the area of discussion is and they can give their opinion. So it's that CEO will do what, that Gurgaon or head office will do what, they will have the opinion of each particular member, each particular management committee of the head of the management at particular state and they can get their views and they can take the decisions easily. So this is again where intra v communication is necessary. Apart from that, what can happen is a marketing department is working in the field and the production department is at the factory site. Now such factory sites are at such places in the outskirts of the city, not even in the market, but not even in the city, but outskirts of the city. So they need to be connected. So marketing department can carry out a survey and they can mail the results of the survey to the production department so that the production department can see that okay what kind of products are required in the market, what innovations we need to do and they can carry it out immediately. Even in HR department what happens is human resource is something which is scattered all over the country, in fact all over the globe. At times if you want certain staff, certain new staff to be recruited in your office and you just give an advertisement in a particular newspaper or a journal, what will happen is it will be reachable only to those people who buy those newspapers or read those journals, right? So that will limit the quality of the people who will approach you. Maybe because the talent is not limited to an area, it is scattered, so you won't be able to reach out to that talent. Rather than do what on certain good websites, say for example Yahoo web page on Google or on Gmail, you can just put the advertisement over there so that the, every person who is accessing that particular web page will know that okay there is a vacancy for this particular job in this particular company and they, you, they can download the form, resume form and then fill and give post it to you. So this is how you will be able to reach more and a wider area so that uh, you get better people for your work. So again, intra B is necessary. Intra B commerce helps communication, helps to communicate to not only within the business to the various department but also facilitates the various department in working in an efficient and a better manner. Now next is what? Next is C to C e-business. Now, this is a customer to customer connection.
here a, one customer interacts with another customer. That means that no buying and selling is taking place. Is it like that? No, it is not like that. One customer is selling and one customer is buying. But still we are not saying it as a business to customer. Either, either, even though selling and buying is taking place because say a person wants to sell his old books. Second hand books.